Okay, so you've got your virtual server set up and you've got server 2012 installed on it and it's all configured. So what you'll want to do now is go into Hyper-V and turn off that virtual machine. So you'll right click it and do uh, shut down. And once you've done that and the state is at off, um, you'll want to go into the folder that has the virtual hard drive for that server and double click the virtual hard drive. That'll mount it to your computer. And what you'll want to do is um, have that to make, make sure that it's mounted as a local disk. Then you'll want to go to Internet Explorer and go to a search engine. And you're going to search for SharePoint Server 2013 trial, or you can do SharePoint Foundation. Okay. And you can just download that right here from the Microsoft site. So I went ahead and downloaded SharePoint Server just because uh, I have a trial key for it. With foundation you won't need a key with server you will so download that <clears throat> and then what you're going to do is go to that um, virtual hard drive that's mounted as a local disk and copy that file there i've already done it okay so once you've copied it then you're going to right click on that local disk and click eject and so that will remove that as a local disk and then you'll go into hyper v and turn on your virtual machine. So we'll let that start up and we'll run it. I've also increased the number of processors on my machine to four and increased the assigned memory to 5,500 megabytes or five and a half gigs or so because I am tired of slow performance out of it. So you do that by going into settings on your virtual machine, click on memory and increase it. And then processor, you can increase the number of virtual processors. Make sure you leave some room for your machine though. So once this loads up, we're going to run the, um, the first thing we'll do is mount the SharePoint um, image file to the server. And I'll show you how to do that. So we'll log in. And once you've logged in and the stupid little server manager comes up, <laughs> you'll go to your Windows uh, Explorer and go to your C drive where that where we copied that file. Okay, you're going to right click it and do mount. And so what it'll do is it open it up and it mounts it as a virtual CD drive. Now, this step is important. What you want to do is open that up and copy everything. And then you'll go to your C drive and create a new folder. And I've already done that and it's called SPCD and you'll want to copy and paste everything into here. That way it runs from the hard drive because you have to actually go in and manually mount this drive uh, right off the bat, or you can go into the Hyper-V settings and, and mount it yourself. But for the sake of time, just copy it to your C drive and that way it'll just run it right off the C drive. You won't have to remount it. You won't get any errors when you're installing or doing the prerequisite installer. So once that's done and you've copied it over, <clears throat> go to your C drive and to that SPCD folder, and you're going to run the prerequisite installer. This is going to install all of these components onto your machine. It'll have you uh, reboot a couple of times, and it'll pick up right where it left off once the virtual machine restarts. You can run through this all you want, um, accept the license agreement, and it'll, it'll install everything you need for SharePoint. I've already done that. So... <laughs> Go ahead and do that. Pause the video if you need to. Come back to it. Um, but that that installs everything you need to set up and get ready to run SharePoint Server. So once you've done that, run the setup. And it's going to ask you for the key. And I'm going to pause the video while I enter my key because I don't want you guys stealing it. And once you enter the key, you'll click Continue. You're going to want to choose Standalone. Unless you have a separate SQL server and you're on kind of a company environment where you have a SQL server you can use, for this video, we're just going to do standalone. And that's for trial or development environments, which is what we're doing. Um, it installs everything you need and gets you up and running. And it creates all the service applications and everything you need to, to rock and roll off the bat. You can choose the file location on your machine if you want to put it in a different spot. I, <laughs> I don't really recommend doing that if you're just trying to get up and running. So that's a little bit beyond the scope of what we're doing. If you wanted to add a second hard drive to your virtual machine and everything else. So 
Just click standalone and install now, and that's going to run through and install everything. It takes about 20 minutes. Let it run through, <clears throat> and then what it'll do is have us run the products configuration wizard. And there's a couple of things you'll need to do in there, um, and I've got another video I'm going to link to on here if you run into an error doing the standalone. So um, once uh, this runs and installs, I'll come back and we'll we'll go into that. Okay, when it's done, it'll it'll tell you to run the configuration wizard. And uh, we'll do that in the next video. So that's really all you have to do to install SharePoint on your machine. Just uh, copy the, uh, download the server file, copy it uh, to your machine through the VHD by mounting it, unmount it, turn on your virtual server, extract the files to a folder, and run the prereq installer.